Uh, hello everyone and uh, welcome back. In this video we are going to see how to integrate uh, AI assistance in C++ Builder. So starting with C++ Builder 12.2 uh, you can use the smart code inside feature. So you right click uh, in the editor and you have smart code insight which allows you to uh, do AI chat, find bugs, uh, explain code, add comment, uh, complete the code, optimize code, etc. So these are uh, all things that uh, can be very useful, of course, uh, while uh, doing a project. In order to integrate AI assistance, you need to go to the tools options here. And under the uh, ID, IDE uh, option, you have the uh, smart code insight feature. And you have a possibility to integrate four plugins, plugins for ChatGPT, Olama, which is, uh, I believe, um, uh, also exists in an uh, offline version and Gemini and Claude. So uh, for the testing purposes I will demonstrate how to integrate ChatGPT because I believe most people use uh, uh, in fact ChatGPT. In order to do that first you need to specify the base uh, URL uh, which is uh, this one here and you need to have API key. Uh, how to get API key? Well uh, on your OpenAI account, uh, you have API keys and uh, you need to create a new secret key. Uh, when you create a new secret key, uh, you will need to uh, automatically save it in some file because uh, once you uh, create that key, you will never be able to see it in this window again. Uh, this is what you can see uh, from my key. Uh, there are like 50 characters missing here in between. so. Uh, you can never retrieve it back, so uh, save it into a file uh, to have it for a future reference if needed. And once you created that key, you need to paste it here. Okay, and uh, what this key enables you is to do uh, API calls uh, on ChatGPT. And uh, the thing uh, that is important here is that uh, those API calls uh, are paid so you need to uh, have an account on uh, ChatGPT in this case with some balance on it so uh, you cannot use uh, uh, this feature this AI assistance uh, meaning the uh, you cannot use API calls at all if you don't have some balance on your uh, account so for that purpose I have um, uh, paid up I believe uh, something like ten dollars here just to test this yeah, uh, I paid ten dollars here, and uh, just to see uh, how this works. Uh, and um, uh, like I said, uh, uh, no matter if you have the key, but if you don't have any balance, uh, this will not work. Uh, then you need to choose a, a ChatGPT model uh, uh, with which you want to communicate or which you want to use. And of course, now you have uh, various models here uh, with uh, some, uh, well, with various price pricing models. So uh, you have uh, ChatGPT 4.0, which is $5 for 1 million input tokens. Uh, this one is 50% uh, cheaper. And if you go to this uh, uh, mini version, uh, it's, it's a lot cheaper. Uh, and you have some older models as well here, like, uh, 3.5 and so on and so on so it's really up to you uh, which of uh, those models do you want to use <coughs> and you need to specify it here uh, max token uh, well I recommend to uh, specify it uh, like this I believe that there are detailed specifications uh, in the documentation on um, uh, max tokens that can be used it depends on the model that you that you are using and the uh, length of the input or uh, of the response uh, temperature is uh, as I uh, read it it can be from 0 to uh, 1 uh, meaning that uh, for example uh, from 0 uh, it's somehow standard from uh, 0 0.2 to 0 0.8 where 0 0.2 uh, is uh, where, where uh, the AI is very focused on your request and uh, 0 0.8 is uh, where he is like giving uh, random uh, answers each time so uh, I set it to 0 0.3 to be uh, pretty focused on the uh, topic that I'm um, asking about right 
but like I said this is also something that you can uh, test with uh, like I said put it from uh, uh, 0 to uh, 1 at your leisure okay and once I save this now how does this work so let's say I have this function here that performs a bubble sort <coughs> and uh, uh, I purposely uh, created an error here which is that um, okay there is uh, no function swap here I will um, include the header okay um, and um, the problem here is that uh, some things are obviously uh, unknown like uh, this function swap uh, and this uh, variable swap here so I can choose this code here and say right click smart code inside find box and I'm using the mini model and I noticed that uh, it takes uh, a lot more time to get a response but once you get the response uh, you get it uh, below the code that you have selected and you get it in um, a form of uh, a comment so as you can see here and pretty much he says here that um, I need to include this algorithm which I already did um, but he pretty much gave me uh, uh, how this should look like so obviously I have uh, forgot to use the STD here okay and uh, what I'm also missing here is the declaration of this uh, swapped uh, uh, variable here. So I'll just uh, copy this to see if that's really it. So what did I copy? Okay, bubble sort. Let's me. Uh, let's just copy paste here. And uh, let's uh, run this. Okay, so uh, there are no more errors here. As you can see, uh, well, it worked. So pretty much he uh, uh, found uh, my bugs, explained it here in details, gave me the correct code, and uh, it works. Uh, I can also use uh, some other features. Uh, let me just see, uh, like um, Smart Code Insight, um, uh, explain the code. Okay, so if I don't understand uh, what this code does, I will be trying to uh, get the uh, explanation. Okay, and uh, now you have it here, uh, outer loop, what it does, uh, what does the inner loop, comparison and swap, and so on and so on. So the point being, uh, this really works, and uh, it's really up to you um, how to use this AI assistant. So do you want to use it directly from uh, inside C++ Builder or Delphi? But in that case, you need to have this API key and you need to have some balance on your ChatGPT account, meaning uh, this type of usage uh, is not free, okay? And uh, that's probably the main drawback of, of this option here because each time you uh, uh, need the assistance you need to pay for that API call while you have free options uh, if you use ChatGPT for example directly from a, a web browser and just for uh, reference here I made like uh, maybe 20 API calls in general here um, I, I didn't spend much here especially if you use a mini model but then again you need to ca uh, have that in mind that this is not free and eventually uh, for example in some uh, uh, more complex problem uh, projects you will probably spend a lot lot more during the time uh, and also uh, i'm not sure how much i like this output here where you get uh, this uh, this explanation is pretty detailed but th the drawback again is that it takes so much space in the editor and I'm not sure if this is uh, the happiest solution at the moment but it is what it is uh, probably in the future or hopefully uh, it will be a, a bit better uh, well that's it guys it's up to you uh, if you want to use AI uh, assistance uh, directly or uh, from the web browser but uh, for me personally I still think I will be uh, using the uh, AI from uh, uh, the web browser because 
it, it's subjective, uh, but uh, it looks uh, more more uh, cleaner for me. Uh, how should I say it, right? Okay, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, see you soon with another video.